Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back for another episode of OLT. This is one of the last days to ladder up. It's currently Tuesday. You guys are catching this on Wednesday. But I'm using a team that um, that I've used before in the past. It's a very offensive team with uh, Life Orb Tornadus, Splash Plate, Manaphy, uh, Scarfed, uh, Tyranitar, Offensive, Mega Scizor, uh, Rocks, Clefable, and Life Orb, uh, Latios. Uh, very old live. I think it was like my fourth or my fifth live that I used this team in. Uh, but it does pretty well on the ladder. So we're going to jump into a couple of games right here. Uh, hopefully we can get one relatively soon. And we do uh, against a blue squad, pretty much. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the Pokemon in OU are blue uh, for some reason. But um, against this opponent, I'm feeling the uh, the Scizor lead uh, is pretty solid. Uh, just because it beats uh, Metagross. Um, I don't have U-turn on it though, so not necessarily the best. Uh, I think I actually just want to lead off with Clefable as my opponent leads with Raikou, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to throw up my Stealth Rocks right here, weaken his team gradually, especially good for the Kirin Black, of course. Goes for a Volt Switch, uh, gotta open a Damage Calyx, see how much that does. I think that's uh, regular uh, Raikou, like a Leftovers or, a, or an Assault Vested variant. Raikou to Clefable, oh. Raikou. I can't spell. All right, awesome. Uh, let's see choice specs to Clefable with a Volt Switch. Clefable, Magikarp plus Calm Mind. Uh, 36 to 42, I don't think he did that. Uh, actually, he did 39, so he is specs, okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, soft boiled up on this thing as he goes for rocks, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna throw out a Moonblast right here. If he has Explosion, he'll go for it more than likely, but uh, nothing I can really do about that. I think my win condition is probably Titar this game because uh, it just crunches everything pretty much. Uh, and pursuits the Latios and stuff, so that's that's good. Uh, gonna go with that. And, uh, yeah, so don't exactly know what my opponent's gonna want to do here. He's gonna go for U-turn. Uh, I could Thunder Wave here, so he shouldn't go Metagross, but he does. Alright, that's fine. And, uh, I don't really have a solid switch to this thing, unfortunately. Uh, Scizor's not bad, but it's not defensive either. So, I think I may just have to, uh, play off the Miss and T-Wave here. What else is this doing this game? Uh, let's see. I mean, it's pretty much walling the Lando now that we know it's rocks. So let's actually go Manaphy here. Uh, I don't see Manaphy doing much this game, so we can pretty much let this thing hit us up with a, uh, a Meteor Mash. Hopefully he doesn't get the attack raise as he does not. That's awesome. I'll be able to throw, throw out a Scald right here. Uh, he doesn't have a solid switch in as he goes for the Zen Headbutt, so he does reveal that. That's awesome. I can now go into Titar, and I think I'm actually just going to crunch right here because he's probably going to predict Pursuit. Um... I don't know how good my opponent is, but we'll see. He's uh, making very optimal plays up until now. We'll see if he wants to stay in. Uh, if he does, then we're knocking him out with Crunch. If he doesn't and goes into Landorus, we get off some good damage on that thing regardless, so that's pretty good. Uh, and we do outspeed it on the following turn. I don't know if two Crunches is going to be enough to take it out, though. I think it might just miss out on the roll. Uh, we'll see. My opponent actually chooses to go into Azu to take a lot of damage right here, 21%. Uh, get a defense drop, actually, as he's going to take a little bit of... Um, sand damage right there and I'm just gonna go straight into Latios on this thing I think um, well scissors better actually because he can just throw out a play rough at this point I don't think he's gonna go for waterfall I think that's his uh, his worst play so we'll see uh, Zazu goes for a okay so he does go for a waterfall and that is choice bandit if I've ever seen it I'm uh, gonna go straight into Latios right here my opponent does not have a pursuit trapper so I'm not too scared of just throwing out a psy shock um, Alternatively, I think his play is probably to go into, uh, what, his Landorus? Let's let's actually drop a Draco right here, as my opponent chooses to go into Raikou. And we know from the damage on Clef that this thing is more than likely Specs, as we're able to take it out with one Draco. So that, that right there, this is the power of Draco Meteor. And, um, I doubt he'd have Pursuit. I can still win this with, uh, with Clef alone. I just need to get rid of the Metagross. Everything else I can I can take on relatively well. I can para the Azu and soft boil stall it. I can, yeah, that seems like uh, the way to go about it. Let's see, let's see what my opponent wants to do right here. Uh, I would personally go Metagross because it gets a kill no matter what. And uh, I mean I can HP fire it, but like that's not doing anything. And at this point, I think I will pursue his Metagross the next time I come in on it, um, just to get rid of it because Clef doesn't appreciate its presence. It can pretty much handle everything else unless it's Specs Kyurem or Banded Kyurem, which I don't think it is uh, from the makeup of his team. He actually chooses to go into Azu, which is interesting. Um, I'm tempted to just go for a Defog right here. Uh, no, I need the rocks up. Let's go for a Psyshock. 
uh, weaken this thing down to 11% as he will go for the play rough right here. Uh, he's down to 5% so I can pretty much just go into uh, Tornadus and you turn out at this point uh, pretty much uh, knocking out his Azumarill, preventing it from coming back in on rocks and I also prevent his Latios from just switching in right here uh, on a potential like, I don't know, heat wave or knockoff, you know. Um, so we go for the U-turn. Down goes Azu. We do reveal to be Life Orb, but that's fine. Uh, at this point, I can go into Tyranitar. Take a little bit of rock damage, but pretty much I just want to keep his Metagross and his uh, Latios out right now. I'd rather his Lando come in more than anything else. And uh, if he wants to U-turn on me, that's fine. I'm just going straight into Tornadus, and uh, we can gain some uh, initiative off of whatever he wants to go into. He chooses to go for the U-turn. Awesome. So he gets out of here. And uh, if he goes Lottie, then I go for U-turn into my Clef. If he goes for a, um, if he goes into Metagross, I Heat Wave, uh, potentially take that thing out. And uh, I, I have to win with Clef at this point. I have to paralyze everything and just fire off Moon Blasts. Uh, the only thing I can't paralyze, of course, being his Landorus, but we'll wear it down quite easily, especially with rocks up. So that's nice. Uh, he doesn't have a, a very good response to this. The fact that he hasn't gone into Kirim yet pretty much confirms to me that he's not scarfed. Uh, he would have already gone into it here, but, um, yeah, I think regardless, my play is always to U-turn. Almost always. We'll see, though. As, uh, yeah, he's taking quite a bit of time. I'm actually going to pause it until he makes a move, guys. We'll be right back. Alright, so my opponent decided to go into Kieran Black. Um, <laughs> don't really have a solid switch into this. I could just let this go down. Um, well, hold on. How much does a Life Orb Ice Beam do to Clef? from a uh, Kirim. Kirim Black, Mixed Wall Breaker. Ice Beam does 45 to 54. We're sitting at 95. And I think that's a 5.5% chance to hit KO after leftovers. If I reduce this to 95% over here on the right side, then Ice Beam is now a, well, it doesn't calculate it that way, I guess. Um, I think regardless, I have to go for the uh, for the U-turn into Clef, yeah. Go for that. Get a little bit of uh, damage off on this Kirim. We will go into Clefable. And uh, he's going to go for Iron Head. So great play on my opponent's part. Keeping my Clef uh, Clefable low. And I can't recover on anything. So that's pretty much a dead Clefable right there. And I think I lose this one. So there goes the Iron Head. Uh, had I stayed in to uh, Hurricane him, that might have been nice. But at this point, uh, I think I just have to go for some uh, Choice Scarf Crunches. I think is my play. Yeah, for sure. Let's go for some crunches, and, uh... Tornadus can actually still win, now that I'm looking at it. Because he let his, um... Well, he hasn't let his Latios take damage yet. That's the only thing. And I don't know how many rounds of, um... Of thing, you know, thing? Uh, how many rounds of, uh, Life Orb I can actually endure. He chooses to go out into his Landorus, allowing it to take a little bit of damage. We'll see if this thing is Rocky Helmet. It should be as it is there we go and I may just stay in here at this point because his Kirim should go down to a life orb hurricane uh, his Metagross should go down to a heat wave this thing should go down to an HP ice the only thing I'm worried about is the Latios that's like literally the only thing but I think I have to crunch again I get a crit on that turn so unfortunate for my opponent as uh, he goes for the u-turn so I could have switched down into torn at the same time, though, I need basically a crit U-turn on the uh, on the Latios if I want to beat it. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty much game over right here. We'll see what my opponent wants to do. He goes into his Metagross. I guess he has Bullet Punch. Uh, would you really be Meteor Mash Zen Headbutt Bullet Punch, though? Like, with absolutely no coverage? We'll find out. Go for the A-Wave. Able to knock out the Metagross right there. As um, we do have to take two more or one more turn of Sand Damage plus Life Orb. Goes into Lando, that's fine. Uh, I can just go for the HP Ice on this thing. And uh, now he lowered my attack though, which means I have basically have to go for the Hurricane on Latios and hope for a confusion. Uh, the Sandstorm is not subsiding just yet, which means we should have two more Life Orb hits in us. Three, actually. Yeah, three. All right, let's go for the Hurricane. Let's see if we can land it in the uh, in the sand as we do not. And his Latios is able to knock us out with Psyshock, so. Uh, very bad matchup right there. Uh, he had a lot of very offensive Pokemon, and I didn't think his, uh, his Azumarill would honestly go for a Waterfall. Not that it had any reason not to, uh, because it was going to do a lot of damage to Latios regardless, so. 
Uh, this guy's got a scary team with Crawdont. Uh, don't really want to deal with Crawdont with this team, but uh, I see no countermeasure to leading Tornadus other than Heatran, realistically. I either just U-turn on something or, you know, the usual. Um, let's actually lead with... Saying that, I'm going to lead with Manaphy, actually. As he does lead with Heatran. Awesome, okay. So we're going to go for... Um, we're just going to throw out a Scald here, honestly. Like, if he wants to go Latias and risk getting burned, that's fine by me. Like, we got the lead matchup, right? Heatran was the only Pokemon that let off well against... Uh, okay, that's offensive. Goes for the uh, Power of Solar Beam. He's not able to knock us out right there. And uh, I get to get off yet another Scald. If I choose to, I can also switch out into Tornadus, predicting the, um, the Latias to want to come in. Uh, or Titar. Yeah, Titar's solid, actually. I like Titar here. He might want to keep his Heatran. Uh, he actually goes for Stealth Rocks. Uh, so we're definitely knocking this thing out here. We're just going to go for a Pursuit. Problem is, his Crawdunt comes in now. So it's, uh, it's a trade-off of Manaphy versus Heatran, but I just wanted to make sure to catch the Latios in case it did come in. That was the point of uh, switching into Titar right there. He does try to save his Heatran, and we get the Pursuit off, so that's awesome. Uh, not much on his team switches into a Crunch, uh, but nothing on my team switches into a Water move right now, so this is kind of scary. Uh, I'm just going to go into Manaphy. He should, in theory, Crab Hammer me. As he misses, ooh, that's unfortunate. Uh, we'll see if he's choiced in some way right now uh, by going for the Scald. We will outspeed him, and um, we'll see. Uh, he does choose to go into Slowbro, so we're going to get off a little bit of damage on this thing. Uh, it's going to get burned as well, so that's uh, that's pretty good for us. As uh, now he's sitting at 66, a crunch. I don't know if it takes it out. Uh, Bug Bite should be able to, though, for sure. That's base 90. Um, and nothing on his team switches into a Bug Bite, honestly. So yeah, let's go for that. And uh, should he switch in his Scizor, he's risking me Swords Dancing, so that's not the best play. I think the best play is just a Scald here, honestly, and hope he lives. And if he doesn't, he goes into Latias and like tries to throw off an HP Fire, or go into Crawdon and, and throw off a, um, you know, a thing. Uh, he goes for uh, Thunder Wave, and uh, that sucks. <laughs> we're, uh, we're paralyzed now, uh, but that's okay. Scizor can still put in work on his team, uh, just because of Bullet Punch, and Bullet Punch alone. Like, he goes into his superior here. I'm assuming he's HP fire. He should be, in theory. I'm gonna go into Tornadus here. He shouldn't glare. He's in front of a Scizor and it's already paralyzed, so we'll see here. Uh, he goes for the Substitute. Okay, cool. So we'll be able to break that with the U-turn and go directly back into, I think, uh, Scizor, honestly. Gonna break the sub and uh, we'll go back into Scizor here as he goes for the Leech Seed. And I'm going to go for uh, the... what? I'm going to go for... I wish I had U-turn right now. I'd break his sub. Um, let's go for Swords Dance, actually. Okay, he, he does have HP Fire. <laughs> and he reveals it right there. Uh, we're going to go into Torn now. We're going to throw off a Hurricane. Uh, he should be Mega Sizz in the back, which is great, actually. Uh, I'm just going to throw off a Hurricane right here if we connect, which we don't. Um, seem to be having trouble with Tornadus connecting Hurricanes lately. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a U-turn here. I'm gonna get my health back because I'm expecting him to want to switch out. He does not. He stays in with his Serp. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go into uh, Titar at this point. Uh, as he goes for the Leaf Storm, gets the plus two, but that doesn't matter because we are faster than this thing. And we will be able to go for the Choice Scarf Crunch right here. Uh, he does get a chance to go into his, uh, his Scizor after, so I will just crunch that thing as well. Uh, I don't really need to keep this necessarily because I do have Clef in the back to handle his Latias. Goes into Sizz, gonna go for the Crunch, I don't have a choice. And uh, I don't know if plus 2 BP takes out Latios, depends if he's uh, offensive or defensive. Uh, he's gonna go for a Swords Dance, he pretty much has to attack me right here which is amazing. Um, because he can't take these Crunches anymore. So... If Latios, if Latios can live a plus 2 BP, which it should be able to because this thing doesn't look to be offensive. Uh, from the way it took that crunch. I can calc it, like Scizor. Scizor Bulky Swords Dance versus Tyranitar. Uh, Choice Scarf. Where's the Choice Scarf set? Crunch should do 26 to 31. Okay, so maybe this thing is a little more offensive than I thought. Um, yeah, either way, I think we have to go into Latios. Uh, does Latios die to a plus two Mega Scizors? Uh, hold on. Scizor. 
I mean, we're gonna find out one way or another, but Latios, Life Orb Attacker, Scizor at plus two, Bullet Punch does 96 to 113, so yes, it would take us out. But he stays in with his Scizor, and we are able to knock it out with a Hidden Power Fire, so awesome. Um, now he's actually faced with the dilemma because he has to go into Cronaunt. Uh, unless this thing is Scarf, which, I mean, even if it is, it doesn't matter. I go for a Draco right here, I knock out his Crawdaunt, and uh, now I can just spam Draco again, I think. Actually, I think my best play is to switch out into Clef there, no matter what, in case he is, um, like, Call Mind Latias for whatever reason. I could actually lose to that thing, but uh, he does choose to forfeit right there. Uh, I'm, I'm really surprised he didn't Bullet Punch, honestly. Like, that was a weird play. My opponent has a very weird looking Gastron. I don't know if I'm like missing an update or, or something on my computer, but like everybody else's Gastrons look normal. Mine are this. Uh, the rest of the team doesn't look too threatening. We can definitely handle it. I'm gonna lead with Manaphy here. It has the best lead matchup against everything, including this Weavile. I can just throw out a Scald. I really don't care if this thing knocks me off. If I can get a burn, that's awesome. Goes in a Latios though. Good play, as we're gonna get off a uh, Scald right there. I'm kind of expecting him to double, uh, predicting my T-Tar. If anything, he's throwing out a Draco here, so... Uh, I think Clef is my best play. He should expect my T-Tar, in theory, because we'll pursue Trap this and immediately get rid of it, so... Uh, if he's expecting T-Tar, he's definitely going, I think, Landorus is his play, or Gastrodon, one or the other. I mean, in either situation, Clef isn't bad because I get up rocks, so... Uh, he does go into Landorus, awesome. And uh, we're able to throw up some Stealth Rocks right here, which will hinder his uh, his Weavile immensely, which is really what I'm looking for. Uh, he does go for his own Rocks, that's fine. I am going to throw out a Thunder Wave right here because he is faster than me. So if he goes for the U-turn, we will be able to paralyze something other than the Gastrodon because he does have two Ground types on his team. But um, Torn, uh, Torn T looking like a win condition. Uh, I'm just going to soft boiled off this damage. Like, you don't two hit KO me. He goes for the U turn, that's fine. I'm back up to full. Like, this uh, this doesn't bother me too much. I know Venusaur Sludge Bomb doesn't take me out. Uh, the question is, do I really want to stay in on that? Um, yeah, I'm going to T wave. And T wave right here as he goes for the Sludge. Does a good amount of damage, but not enough. We are able to paralyze this thing, and I will switch immediately out into my Mega Scizor. Well, it's not Mega Evolved yet, but you get my point. Goes for a sludge bomb. Uh, I think I can just start swords dancing. Honestly, like looking at his team. Yeah, I'm gonna start swords dancing. Uh, he probably has HP fire. He does, and it is able to knock us out from full. Okay, so I was not expecting that. Uh, that's what I get for running offensive uh, scissor. Gonna go into torn now. Uh, nothing on his team really wants to take a combination of uh, hurricane plus heat waves, so I'm just gonna throw out a hurricane right here. He either lets his Venusaur go down or he lets something take an immense amount of damage, so that's fine by me. We'll see what he wants to, uh, what his play is. I need to keep this Tornadus because it beats his whole team. So, he goes into Latios actually, as we are able to once again miss a Hurricane. Awesome. Uh, gonna go for a U-turn and knock this thing down to 6%. And this is where we go into T-Tar. I mean, there's no other play, right? Let this thing die to sand at this point. He goes for the Defog. Awesome. Okay, so his Latios is going to go down. We are in with T-Tar right here. And uh, my Clef gets off a Soft Boil a little bit later on his uh, his Venusaur, potentially. That's what I'm looking for. He goes into Weavile, actually. Um, you're just going to low kick me. So I'm going to go into Manaphy on the low kick, because this is going to do nothing. Uh, as you can see, it only does 9%. And uh, I can just throw out another Scald here. If he wants to go into Gastrodon, he's like playing around with me being uh, Tail Glow plus Energy Ball. He actually forfeits. Uh, not sure why. He still had a chance to win, especially with this Weavile and that Gastro, but I guess he decided uh, today's not the day, guys. <laughs> I'm not uh, I'm not winning any of my matches. I'm just going to forfeit them while I'm still in a good position to win. But uh, my opponent has a scary looking team, um, especially because of the Rotom, man. Things annoying. Yeah, we're going to lead off with Clef, as he leads off with the Rotom, that's fine. Just going to throw up some Stealth Rocks. Uh, he's probably just going to go for the Volt Switch, so we're going to get up some free Rocks right here. Uh, Chimp would say there's no such thing as free Rocks, but, like, there's nothing freer than these Rocks right here. Like, honestly, I mean, he can go into his Heatran on the Volt Switch and get up his own Rocks, but that's okay. Life Orb Clef, I want to try that out. I'm thinking about it now, like, 
That'd be crazy. Gets a crit on the uh, Volt Switch, so it's really not my day for hacks. Luckily, we uh, have two wins and one loss, so that's uh, actually kind of impressive. Uh, he's going to go into uh, Heatran. I'm just going to T-Wave this thing because it shouldn't go for a Flash Cannon this turn. Uh, in fact, it might not even have Flash Cannon, so I'm just going to keep Moon Blasting now. As, uh, let's see what we do. No damage whatsoever. He gets fully parried. Um, I really don't think he has it. So I'm just going to keep firing off some Moon Blasts here to see what he does. He does go for the Plume. That does absolutely nothing. And uh, I have a very good switch into his Lava Plume, being Manaphy. So I'm going to Soft Boiled up right here. Um, I mean, like, nothing really switches in on me on his team. Clef kind of just wins. Especially if I was Calm Mind, that would be uh, great right here. But uh, he's just going to keep firing off Lava Plumes. Uh, he gets the Burn, which is amazing, actually, because that means that I can't be paralyzed. Um... If he even had T-Wave on anything like his Rotom potentially did, but now we uh, now we're in a very good position actually. Uh, I can just go into Manaphy here. I'm uh, I'm gonna risk it, and uh, let's see what he does. He goes for the switch out into Rotom, so not good for us. Uh, I have no switch ins to this thing. I think I just have to throw off a Scald at this point. Well, this thing's still good. Let me go into Clef. I have no reason not to. This is fine. He goes for the Volt Switch. Uh, he's not going to put me in range of anything on his team except maybe like a crit Psy Shock or a crit Earthquake. Like, those are literally the only two things that could knock me out right now. Everything else, just no. Like, his team is not offensive enough to handle Clefable. It's very, very weak. It has no breakers. So, let's see. And he's taking rock damage, so this is great. I'm weakening this Rotom, putting it in range of two crunches uh, from Titar uh, after a couple more rock hits, so. Uh, it's no longer a switch, which is great, because uh, if his Heatrans is Rocker, that probably means his uh, Landorus is offensive, which means it doesn't take crunches too well, even at minus one. Let's see what he wants to go into here. Uh, he chooses to go out into Slowbro, actually. All right. Well, I'm going to T-Wave you as well, and if you set up a Calm Mind on me, I don't really care. Uh, we do get off the uh, the T-Wave right there. He's going to go for the Calm Mind. I'm going to go for Moon Blast and see what he wants to do. Uh, he should attack me on this turn. Uh, he gets fully parried, unfortunately, for him. Gonna go for another Moon Blast here. It's uh, still doing a good amount of damage, 19%. He goes for the Slack Off, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go into... I think... Uh, Scizor right here. As he should not attack on this turn, in theory. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, gonna go for the Swords Dance. Uh, allow myself to be able to... Uh, come very close to knocking this thing out. He goes for a Skull, does not get the burn, awesome. We're gonna go for a Bug Bite right here, and we are gonna be able to uh, pretty much neuter this thing, bring it down to 6%, that's gonna not allow it to switch in on rocks anymore, which is amazing. I'm glad uh, Scizor wasn't doing too much this game as long as Rotom was around and Lando, so I'm perfectly fine with that, as now I can just go into my Clefable again and just fire off another Moon Blast. It will be able to knock him out. And he doesn't have a switch in uh, anymore because his slow bro dies to rocks anyway. So there's no point in keeping it. It's paralyzed. It's never getting off a recover on anything on my team. So, I mean, he could have used it to play some mind games, but that's about it. Uh, he goes into Rotom. I'm just going to soft boil on this thing. He goes for a hydro pump. That's fine. I'm just going to get off a soft boiled right here. Is this thing uh, offensive? The hydro pump did a lot. Hold on. Clefable. Clefable. How much are you supposed to take from a Rotom wash? Physically defensive, only does 28 to 33, and that did 43. So that's definitely offensive. Uh, I'm going to go for the Moon Blast right here, as he goes for another Hydro, does 46. Uh, and as long as he doesn't crit us, we're pretty much good. Uh, he can also miss Hydros, so... I think he's locked in, in some way. He might be Scarfed. Uh, yeah, it might be Scarfed. And, like, Double Dance Lando, that would make sense. Just going to go for another Soft Bolt right here, no reason not to. He's not choiced. Goes to the Shadow Ball. That's fine. I'm gonna keep wearing this thing down with Moon Blasts. Goes for another Shadow Ball. Don't really know why you would rock Shadow Ball on um, on Rotom. Uh, I'm curious to see if he has any kind of recovery. He shouldn't, in theory. Uh, like Volt Switch, Hydro Pump, Shadow Ball, and Pain Split isn't really a set. Uh, as we are able to knock this thing down very low. Extremely low, to the point where it can't come in on rocks anymore. And uh, we just fire off uh, another Moon Blast here, I think. Actually, he's just going for Shadow Balls. I could probably switch into Tornadus. I don't really want to take that chance, though. Yeah, Moon Blast is just all around my best play every time. He does finally get the Spinef drop on the turn that he goes down, so that didn't really work out in his favor. Uh, Heatran is paralyzed, so it's not doing much to me. 
yeah, I really didn't think, uh, a, a lot of these games didn't look like they were gonna go well, and then just, like, completely turned around. He let two of his best defensive Pokemon go down. He's only got one left, which is this Heatran, and the rest is offense at this point, so. Uh, again, on this thing, I can just go into Manaphy. If he toxics me, I have the Rain Dance. Uh, he does go for the Plume, and, uh, does not get the Burn, and we can just throw off another Scald right here, I believe. That uh, is perfectly safe as uh, we are able to two hit KO this thing. Goes for the Toxic, I'm gonna go for the Rain Dance right here. And uh, then Scald is gonna be doing a lot more to something else, so. Uh, should he choose to switch out into Latios right here, that would be a very good play. However, his Heatran doesn't switch in on anything anymore either, so. Uh, this is fine, I go for the Rain Dance, get rid of the Poison, and we are gonna switch directly into Titar, not playing around with this thing, just gonna Pursuit Trap it, get rid of it, and uh, that should be that. Uh, Elbro Stellero, Elbro Draco, I love these nicknames, they're cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, my opponent does choose to drop a Draco on me, that's absolutely fine, the next one won't be able to take me out, and we can just go for the Choice Scarf Pursuit right here, and knock this thing out. And at this point, I just need to get rid of Heatran once again, and uh, we should be good to go. So he does go for another Draco Meteor, once again, that's not going to be able to knock us out. Uh, he does weaken us to the point where we can't come in on rocks anymore, which is, uh, I guess, good for him. Um, but I just basically need to dodge some, um, some flinches with, uh, with Weavile on my Clefable, and we should be good. I'm gonna go for another Pursuit right here, test to see the, if this thing is Scarfed or not. Uh, it is indeed Scarfed, so that's awesome information right there. As, uh, he switches out into Weavile, okay, cool. Um, I mean, that's just... Free Clefable, right? <laughs> Every time. As uh, we can just go for the uh, the Moonblast right here. Uh, if he switches out into Heatran, I'm perfectly fine with that because I still have a very good switch into Heatran being uh, either Tornadus, actually, or Manaphy. And as long as I keep this thing alive, he can't beat me. So, uh, yeah, let's go Manaphy. If he switches out, he's just taking more rock damage. I don't mind that at all. Uh, goes for the Plume. It's going to do 16%. It is not going to be able to burn us on this turn, and we are going to get a Scald kill right here. And now Clefable wins the game, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up right here. Let's just see how this plays out at the end. Uh, we just got to watch out for Weavile's Ice Shard and stuff like that, so. Um, tempted to keep this thing around. Really tempted to. Uh, he should go for a knock right here in theory. I mean, that just gives me a free Moon Blast, so. I don't mind throwing off a Scald. If he goes for Earthquake, then I go into uh, Tornadus and U-Turn. So, we just play the uh, U-Turning game between Latios and Tornadus at that point. And, uh, yeah, that should seal it off. Let's see. Uh, guys, uh, this is, since I have time to talk right now, uh, we are starting a co-op channel, if you haven't... Uh, you haven't heard about it yet um, if you follow the NBA at all then you should have heard of it by now uh, but we're starting a uh, co-op channel and uh, here we go do we break through the flinch we do not okay that sucks um, how do I play around this now I don't think I can I think he actually just knocks me out with the next one unless he misses and uh, that's game Wow that turned around real quick all he needed was one flinch and he got it that's crazy. Um, and I actually need this thing at a good amount of health to be able to uh, deal with his lander as well. I mean, knockoff doesn't take out tornadoes from full, or from 75 for that matter. All right, let's go for Moonblast. He connects, and he fails to knock us out. Do we break through? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Woo! All right, that game is saved. That was like the most tense moment ever. I'm trying to talk about an alternate channel that's starting up, and you just, woo, okay. You can't do that to me, man. <laughs> You cannot do that to me. Uh, he goes into Landorus. Um, this is perfectly fine. We are going to go for the Moonblast. He should go for the knockoff in theory. He does. Okay. Um, it shouldn't take out Tornadus. Let's see. So yeah, we're starting up a, a, um, a co-op channel. Uh, we're just basically playing any and every game that we can. On there, we are actually starting with a, uh, an Emerald Tag Lock. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, definitely hop on everybody else's channel in the NBA, Dom's Game Room. Uh, Jane Creams 14, Colton, uh, OG Hypnotoad, uh, Jar Boss, those people. Anyway, you guys probably want to see the uh, the end of this battle. That's Camtasia, by the way, if you guys don't know what uh, recording software I use. So Tornadus, Therian, Life Orb Attacker, Knockoff does 46 to 54. So even a crit, 
he would need a high roll crit. We're gonna go for HP Ice. This does take him out. Let's see what happens. He goes for the knockoff, fails to knock us out, gets rid of the life orb, but that is going to be enough. I don't know if the crit mattered. I don't think it did. Uh, it shouldn't have. Let's le like let's take off the life orb right there. I mean, he got a flinch on us, so I have nothing to say. Uh, hidden power ice. Uh, 84 to 99. Yeah, it's taking him out. So uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. If you want to see my part in the tag lock, because I will actually also be participating in that. Uh, and uh, that video should be coming out probably about a week from now. Uh, also, uh, starting another LP, a, uh, a co-op LP with uh, one other person, Rob. Uh, I've talked about it pretty much at the end of every video by now, but uh, definitely check out Rob's channel as we will be bouncing back and forth for that LP. And uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you again for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.